Give this recipe a try, and I'll see you next time with more recipes. Ow! 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 <laughs> well, goodbye! Ooh. It's too late for New Year, too late for Christmas, too early for Easter, so happy January, guys, whatsoever. <laughs> it's also the month of my birthday, so if you're not celebrating, then bye. No, I mean today, that was a joke. <laughs> so today I'm going to show you a very easy recipe that requires the following ingredients. Green tea powder. Yes. I got this as a gift from a friend who went to Japan for vacation, so a huge shout out to that very special friend. <laughs> I just want it would be nice to feature this ingredient in one of my videos. I would like to show you today my very easy, very quick matcha latte or green tea milk. But matcha latte sounds so much fancier, so I will go with matcha latte. Matcha latte, woohoo, it's so fancy. Uh, it's actually not that difficult to get green tea powder or green tea powder blend or matcha powder. You don't have to get a very fancy, very um, expensive kind, but if you are having trouble getting your hands on this ingredient, then Amazon. <laughs> Sorry. Obviously, I'm going to show you a drink recipe. And just because my channel is called Eat, Bake, Love, then I suddenly have to confine myself to sharing recipes that require an oven. And let's face it, sometimes you just want to treat yourself with the least amount of time. Making a good, hot, warm, sweet drink would be a very nice alternative than baking a bunch of cookies or making a cake and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get into the kitchen and get matcha latte uh, boiling. If that, uh, mm. Yeah, let's just go. <laughs> All you have to do is to add two to three teaspoons of the green tea powder into your favorite cup. Then add a little bit of hot water to melt the powder. You can also add two to three teaspoons of sugar to your green tea now. Well, I forgot to do that so when I was making my own green tea latte, so I was being a bad model. Do not follow me on that step. <laughs> After that, you can now heat your full fat milk and cream in a saucepan. Yes. Full fat milk and full fat cream. You heard what I said. It's winter, come on, you need the fat to keep yourself warm. Okay, look at the seals. Look at the seals, look at the bears. Learn from mother nature. You know, get all the fat you need. So what else? Okay, back to business. Hit your cream and milk over the heat until you see small bubbles bubbling on the surface. Be careful because it will get boiled pretty quickly. You can now remove your saucepan off the heat and with a milk frother, give your hot milk and cream a very nice foamy texture. If, if you do not have a milk frother, do not panic. Your matcha latte will still taste divine. It's just, well, I happen to have a milk frother at home and I would like to make this drink a little bit more indulgent and, you know, get fancy if you can. Just skip the step if you do not have a milk frother. You can always slowly move your saucepan while boiling your milk. This will also make your milk and cream a bit thicker than usual um, to kind of get closer to that very creamy texture. After frothing your milk and cream, just simply pour it over your green tea, slowly, gently to create some very nice, pretty volume. an extra dust of green tea powder, and you're done. Ta-da! I have already added sugar to my matcha latte, so let's give it a go. <sighs> so good. It's a very aromatic, warm, sweet drink. Um, not as heavy as hot chocolate, but it will still warm you from the inside. I hope you enjoy spending time with me, and I'll see you next time with more recipes. Bye! Oh my gosh, there's milk on my camera. No, wait. Hmm. Should be all good now. Actually, not that difficult to get green tea powder. To get green tea powder. What is green tea powder? I talked in front of like. So I'm gonna have to confine myself to share recipes that only that require an oven. Oh my gosh, I'm just doing too fast.